In the ever-evolving landscape of space exploration, SpaceX's Starship program stands as a beacon of innovation and ambition. The recent success of Starship Flight 11, conducted on October 13, 2025, underscores the remarkable strides made by Elon Musk's company in pushing the boundaries of reusable rocketry. This mission not only demonstrated technical prowess but also highlighted the collaborative efforts between SpaceX and NASA to reclaim American leadership in lunar exploration. At its core, the transcript paints a picture of a program that's rapidly maturing, with Flight 11 serving as a pivotal milestone that builds on previous tests to pave the way for human missions to the moon and beyond. One of the standout achievements of Flight 11 was the flawless execution of key technical objectives that have long been hurdles in the de Starship development pipeline. The rocket, the largest and most powerful ever built, lifted off from Starbase in Texas and achieved a clean separation of its super-heavy booster, which then performed a controlled descent into the Gulf of Mexico. Meanwhile, the upper-stage Starship spacecraft reached the edge of space, deployed eight payloads during a precise six-minute window at an altitude of 119 miles, and successfully released one of its Raptor engines mid-flight, a critical test for future orbital maneuvers. This relight, occurring nearly 38 minutes into the mission, proved the reliability of the propulsion system under real-world conditions, addressing concerns from earlier flights where engine performance had been inconsistent. Even more impressive was the spacecraft's re-entry and splashdown in the Indian Ocean, despite deliberately removing some heat shield tiles to gather data on thermal protection. Starship held up remarkably well against the extreme heat of atmospheric re-entry. It executed a complex banking maneuver, simulating the precision needed for future catch-and-return operations at the launch site. This not only validated the vehicle's aerodynamic design, but also showcased SpaceX's iterative approach to engineering, where each flight refines the system for greater reusability. As SpaceX spokesperson Dan Hewitt exclaimed during the live webcast, the cheers from the team at Starbase reflected the collective relief and excitement over a mission that went off without major hitches. Elon Musk himself praised the team on X, emphasizing the hard work that made this possible. Gwynne Shotwell, SpaceX's president, echoed this enthusiasm, sharing her admiration for Musk and the team while highlighting the mission's implications for NASA's Artemis program. Acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy lauded the test as a major step toward landing Americans on the moon's south pole, tying it directly to Artemis, 3's goal of a 2027 lunar landing. This integration is one of the program's strongest suits. NASA's investment of over $4 billion in adapting Starship as a lunar lander demonstrates a smart public-private partnership. By leveraging SpaceX's rapid development cycle, NASA aims to accelerate its timeline, ensuring the U.S. returns astronauts to the moon before China's planned 2030 mission. The transcript stresses how every successful flight like this one bolsters progress on Artemis III, turning what was once a distant dream into a tangible reality. Beyond the immediate successes of Flight 11, the transcript delves into the forward-looking upgrades that position Starship as a game-changer in space travel. The shift to Starship Block 3 prototypes represents a complete overhaul, introducing Raptor 3 engines that are simpler, more efficient, and capable of delivering 280 metric tons of thrust each. These engines eliminate bulky heat shields, saving weight and improving reliability, while larger propellant tanks reduce the need for multiple refueling trips, a necessity for lunar missions. The addition of a docking adapter enables in-orbit propellant transfer, a breakthrough that could make deep space travel feasible by allowing starships to refuel each other in orbit. Super Heavy's enhancements further amplify these strengths. Upgrades to the fuel transfer tube, hot staging ring, and grid fins now reduce to three larger, stronger ones with catch points promise quicker turnaround times and precise booster catches using the launch tower's chopsticks. These innovations aim at full reusability,
a holy grail that could drastically cut costs and increase launch frequency. Musk's hints at even taller future variants, potentially reaching 466 feet, suggest a scalable architecture that could support not just moon landings, but also Mars colonization, aligning with SpaceX's long-term vision. The transcript also spotlights the broader infrastructure expansion, with Pad 2 at Starbase coming online soon and new sites at Cape Canaveral and Kennedy Space Center in Florida. This scalability ensures Starship can handle the demands of operational missions, from satellite deployments to crewed flights. In the context of Artemis II, the upcoming crewed lunar orbit mission, these developments provide a robust foundation. With astronauts like Commander Gregory Reed, Wiseman and his team preparing for a journey that will take them farther than any human since Apollo, the program embodies the spirit of exploration that captivates the public imagination. In summary, the best points of this content revolve around the tangible successes of Flight 11, the technological leaps in Block 3, and the strategic synergy with NASA's Artemis goals. These elements not only showcase engineering excellence, but also inspire confidence in America's space future, proving that with innovation and collaboration, the stars are within reach. While the triumphs of SpaceX's Starship program and NASA's Artemis missions ignite dreams of cosmic conquest, they also stir a cauldron of controversy that has space enthusiasts, policymakers, and environmentalists locked in heated debates. Imagine a rocket taller than the Statue of Liberty blasting off from the Texas coast, only to rain debris over protected wetlands or explode in a fireball that echoes across the Gulf. That's the dramatic reality fueling much of the backlash. As of October 2025, with Starship's test flights pushing boundaries amid a backdrop of geopolitical tensions and mounting delays, the program's darker undercurrents reveal a high-stakes gamble where ambition clashes with ethics, safety, and sustainability. This section dives into the most contentious aspects, blending the original transcript's themes with real-world updates to unpack why. Starship isn't just engineering a future, it's engineering fierce disputes. At the heart of the controversy lies the stark geopolitical framing in the transcript, which portrays the U.S. space race as a zero-sum battle against China. Phrases like, we want to make sure we don't cede it to China, and beating China back to the moon, evoke Cold War era rhetoric. Positioning space as a domain of national supremacy, rather than international collaboration. Critics argue this narrative fuels unnecessary antagonism, potentially undermining global treaties like the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which promotes peaceful exploration. In Senate hearings referenced in the transcript, concerns about China gaining a strategic advantage on the moon have amplified calls for accelerated funding, but they've also drawn fire from diplomats and scholars who warn of escalating tensions. For instance, China's change program has made steady progress, with plans for a lunar base by 2030, prompting accusations that U.S. rhetoric is more about domestic politics than scientific merit. Elon Musk's own posts on X often amplify this rivalry, tweeting in early 2025 about how losing the moon to adversaries would be catastrophic, which sparked backlash from international space agencies for politicizing what should be a shared human endeavor. Is this race truly about exploration, or is it a proxy for earthly power struggles? The transcript's emphasis on NASA's $4 billion investment in Starship as a tool to outpace China highlights the stakes, but it also raises questions about whether taxpayer dollars are funding innovation or imperialism. Equally inflammatory are the environmental impacts of Starship's development, a topic the transcript glosses over, but which has exploded into public scrutiny by mid-2025. Launch. Sites at Starbase in Boca Chica, Texas, have become ground zero for ecological controversies, with repeated test flights accused of devastating local habitats. Environmental groups like the Sierra Club and the Center for Biological Diversity have sued the Federal Aviation Administration multiple times claiming SpaceX's operations violate the National Environmental Policy Act. Explosions during tests such as the 
January 2025 Flight Test 7, where Ship 33 disintegrated over the Gulf of Mexico. Scattering debris across miles have been linked to harm against endangered species like sea turtles and migratory birds. A June 2025 explosion on a test stand at Starbase prompted the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to investigate potential violations with reports of concrete chunks and metal shards polluting nearby wetlands. Critics point out that the FAA's lenient oversight allows SpaceX to skirt regulations as noted in a 2023 Planetary Society analysis that remains relevant today. Even the U.S. Air Force halted a hypersonic cargo project with SpaceX in July 2025 due to these concerns, citing risks to wildlife and coastal ecosystems. Musk's vision of turning Starbase into a self-governing city has further inflamed locals who decry land grabs and noise pollution that disrupt fishing communities. Proponents counter that these are necessary trade-offs for progress. But with climate change amplifying coastal vulnerabilities, the question lingers, can humanity afford to conquer space at the expense of Earth's fragile frontiers? Technical and scheduling delays form another flashpoint, transforming Starship from a revolutionary leap to a symbol of overpromise and underdelivery. The transcript optimistically touts Flight 11 successes and Block 3 upgrades, but by October 2025, the program has faced a string of setbacks that have eroded confidence. Multiple explosions and aborts, including a scrapped launch in August 2025, due to a liquid oxygen leak have led to whispers of rushed engineering under immense pressure. Industry insiders, as discussed in Reddit forums like our SpaceX Lounge, blame internal strains for making rockets too light and fragile, vulnerable to vibrations that cause catastrophic failures. NASA's Artemis program, deeply intertwined with Starship, has borne the brunt of these issues. Originally eyed for a 2024 Artemis II launch, the mission has been repeatedly delayed, first to September 2025, then April 2026, and now potentially further amid heat shield woes from Artemis. The Orion capsule's heat shield eroded more than expected during re-entry in 2022 leading to over 100 tests and trajectory tweaks. As NASA officials admitted in December 2024 briefings, Artemis III's lunar landing, reliant on Starship's unproven refueling tech, slipped to mid-2027, with the NASA Inspector General labeling timelines unrealistic in a 2024 report, projecting costs exceeding $93 billion by 2025. These ballooning expenses have drawn congressional ire, with critics like Senator Bernie Sanders questioning why billions flow to a billionaire's company amid domestic priorities. SpaceX's response? Iterative testing is key to innovation, but detractors see it as a cycle of costly failures, especially with Starship's role in Mars ambitions clashing with Artemis's moon focus. As one analyst quipped in a New York Magazine piece from July 2025, is Starship doomed or just dramatically delayed? The influence of Elon Musk himself adds a personal layer of controversy, blending genius with volatility. The transcript celebrates his cameos and vision, but Musk's erratic leadership, marked by aggressive timelines and public feuds, has alienated all eyes. His 2025 tweets criticizing regulators for stifling innovation. Amid FAA investigations have fueled perceptions of entitlement, while ties to the incoming Trump administration raise fears of policy shifts that could prioritize SpaceX over broader goals. Reports from former employees highlight a high-pressure culture leading to burnout, echoing broader critiques of Silicon Valley's move fast and break things ethos applied to life-critical systems. In essence, these controversies geopolitical saber-rattling, environmental degradation, chronic delays, and leadership drama underscore the double-edged sword of rapid space advancement. They challenge us to ask, at what cost does humanity reach for the stars? While the transcript frames Starship as a beacon of progress, real-world developments in 2025 reveal a program teetering on the edge of breakthrough and breakdown. 
demanding accountability to ensure its legacy is one of inspiration, not regret. As SpaceX wraps up Starship's Block 2 phase with the triumphant Flight 11 on October 13, 2025, the program stands at a crossroads where its dazzling achievements intersect with persistent controversies. This latest test, hailed as a flawless capstone, showcased engine relights, payload deployments, and resilient re-entries, paving the way for Block 3 upgrades. With Raptor 3 engines boosting efficiency and Pad 2 at Starbase gearing up for action, Starship's potential to slash launch costs and enable Mars missions feels tantalizingly close. NASA's Artemis program, now targeting Artemis 2 in April 2026 after heat shield fixes, amplifies this momentum, promising a U.S. lunar return that could inspire generations. Yet, the controversies cast long shadows. Geopolitical saber-rattling against China risks fracturing international cooperation, while environmental scars from starbase explosions scattering debris across Texas wetlands have fueled lawsuits and FAA scrutiny. Delays from liquid oxygen leaks to regulatory hurdles have ballooned Artemis costs beyond $93 billion, eroding public faith. Elon Musk's bold but volatile leadership marked by aggressive timelines and social media feuds, further polarizes opinions, with critics decrying a move fast, break things mentality unfit for human-rated spacecraft. To forge ahead responsibly, SpaceX and NASA must bridge these divides. Embrace transparent environmental assessments to protect ecosystems, foster diplomatic ties for shared lunar goals, and refine testing protocols to minimize risks. By integrating triumphs like reusable tech with accountability, Starship can evolve from a controversial behemoth into a unifying force for exploration. As V3 prototypes debut, the stakes couldn't be higher. Will ambition yield sustainable progress or invite more setbacks? The stars await, but only if we navigate earthly challenges first.